Hello! Hope you are enjoying your day, afternoon, and your evening, wherever you are, on our lovely third rock from the sun, the planet Earth. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Here's why. I do a lot of things throughout the year. You are going to want to be subscribed. The movie we'll be watching together is Asteroid City from 2023. Now, I've heard great things, meaning I know that the movie has been nominated for a few awards and have won a few of those awards. Don't ask me those awards, because I don't remember. I just know they won. And with that, it has a good cast, because it has Scarlett Johansson, Tom Hanks, Jeffrey Wright, Joda Swinston, Brian Cranston, Edward Norton. I mean, that list alone in just a couple names, people, it's mind-blowingly cool. And then Wes Anderson directs and produces the movie as well. Which it also has Jason Schwartzman. Uh, just Steve Carell, Maya Hockey. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. Rupert Friend, uh, Hung Chu. I hope I'm saying that right. Jeff Goldblum, Jer Jeremy Dawson, who looks familiar by the photograph, but who the hell do I know that guy from? God, it's going to drive me nuts. That's going to drive me nuts. Anywho, I'm going to continue onward. And we're going to talk about Asteroids that before we begin. I'm going to read you the lovely description. It has a fictional city in America desert, which is circa 1955. Between our stargazers and space guests, um, across the country, it's some love to the animal. Asteroid Day celebration, but scholarly competition is particularly up upended by world changing events. Equal part comedy, drama, romance, with a touch of sci fi, which is interesting. And that's the movie. I'm a sucker for period pieces, so I don't care if it's fact or fiction. It's Period pieces are really cool to me, and those are one of my favorites. Reason for that face is the, uh, one of the companies is Indian Paintbrush. Never heard of them. Wish them the best, though. It's a nice black and white to open the movie. It's very interesting. And it's opening on miniatures, which is... I don't know why. It's kind of cool to see, but you can tell it's literally miniatures. It's pretty cool. Just in. The credits are rolling like they do in the end. New movies don't normally do that. Just in. I kind of like it. It's a throwback. Olden times. Olden times. Okay. Well, there's product placement. Pontiac and John Deere. I have to admit, I'm a little bored. I'm only a couple of minutes into this movie. Seven minutes. Almost eight. I have to admit, the mushroom cloud for the Hannah Bomb to the A Bombs. Pretty interesting. The center of the mushroom cloud is very thin. So essentially, this movie is a play that's playing out. Hmm. Brian Cranston reminds me so much of Robert Stack narration from Unsolved Mysteries. I don't know if that was meant to be like that, but Brian Cranston's narration at that exact moment, he could be the next Unsolved Mysteries host. I'm just saying, it was pure Robert Stack. He channeled Robert Stack in that 
narration right there. I love it. He did a great job. I am very bored watching this movie. You are there in my evening meds kicked in. And I am completely exhausted because of those. Anybody's got it. Interestingly, this, uh, this movie's uh, got a lot of smoking. And I think or thought that smoking was outlawed in... TVs and movies in the new millennium. Maybe just for period pieces. Let me know in the comments. As I try not to fall asleep. Alien poses for a photo. Okay, that's not random at all. This whole movie is full of randomness. By the way, an alien ship. And just like that, the alien. Movie is not picked up. I'm still bored. Falling asleep. So is already the thing I plan to do next too. Usually it's a war. Nobody can defeat that, can they? Probably not. Maybe the USO Hundred percent confused. Zero percent as to what no idea what's going on. This is Asteroid City. That's one of the greatest casts I've ever seen in a while. Makes zero freaking sense to me. Thanks to holy people I have A little bit less than an hour of this movie left. Still have no idea what's going on. Random singing and random dancing. That young is about the whole movie. Okay. Well, I was an hour and 45 minutes, so I will not get back. I gave it three out of five stars. There was good cinematography in it. Period piece that basically was good because of the way they did the period piece. Tiredly long and just really, really stupid. I, honestly, I don't know why I got a 75% on Rotten Tomatoes and why 62% of it, people find it entertaining. I'm assuming the cast brought all the weight to that movie. Brian Cranston's narrating was my favorite part. With that, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, afternoon, and your evening if you are on planet Earth. They're lovely. Third walk from the sun is you can tell I'm completely wiped out. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. I did not like this movie. The only thing I liked about it was the cast. The acting was good. The script made no sense. The movie made no sense. And if you're like me and confused, have an idea what the movie is actually about, leave a comment. If you need some help, Figuring out what this movie is about, leave me a comment. And I will see you at the next movie, or whatever I'm doing. I don't even know. Take care. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave. This is my life. And with that, I will be watching the movie from 2023 called Asteroid City.
Never watched it. Heard it was good. Didn't read any of the reviews though, so I don't know how I thought that. Awards. They got got all got some awards that year for that movie. Now, according to the lovely I'm gonna do that again. So I'm gonna do it in three, two, one. Where the hell am I gonna be come from? I'm gonna do that again. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Hmm. I'll be right back with the cast. Okay, we're gonna go from the cast point. Three, two, one. Hmm. No? I'm thinking Richie Witch, the Macaulay Culkin version. No? I'm alone? No? Man, I want to know where I know that guy from. Let's see, what, what did he do? That's his from. You really know that guy from somewhere, unless he has a familiar face, and I know that this familiar face from somewhere else, but he's bugging out of him, you know? Uh, yeah, so first glances, it's definitely a period piece, because I can tell by the cover art and the photo they have on the menu but also uh, recently I have been watching a lot of movies that deal with true events as well which is also pretty cool and yeah that's it 100% no idea what's going on I'm zero percent confused. And I said that backwards. So, uh, what do I, what do I, what do I do now? Uh, 